Hello and welcome to the penultimate edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Joe, this is my friend Mitch, and today we will be guiding you on a journey of knowledge. We hope you're ready to hear about the new girls lacrosse team, Relay for Life, and an exciting new change to the school's administration, as well as a review for the 2013 to 2014 school year. Najee El Amin was the winner of the Hidden Sabre contest. As we speak, Najee wins a Sabre Roar Superfan t-shirt and a free lunchroom cookie. Najee found the Sabre on the cookie box in the golden moment. With the addition of a girls lacrosse team this year, there are no longer just lax bros, just lax people. The girls lacrosse team started their season with a rough start, but have recently won two games and strive to finish this year out strong. It's a really great opportunity to get involved in the new club sport, and it's a lot of fun, and you get the chance to meet a lot of new people. Without any prior lacrosse experience, the girls had a lot of catching up to do. The team has already made a large amount of progress throughout the year, and have shown that they can overcome many obstacles. Maybe next year we'll add a boys softball team so I can live my dream. You mean baseball. On a serious note, Franklin High School's second annual Relay for Life to raise funds for the American Cancer Society was a huge success. Many Franklin students and community members participated in Franklin's second annual Relay for Life at Robin Wood Elementary School. The event started off with an emotional introduction and a special lap for cancer survivors and their caretakers. Teams continued walking throughout the night in addition to participating in other fun events and performances. After dark, Luminaria were lit in honor of friends and family who have fought the battle against cancer including Franklin High School's own Mr. Jewel. Students raised money prior to the relay and continued with on-site fundraisers with all proceeds going to the American Cancer Society. This year our goal was to raise $15,000 and we achieved our goal and made even more money than that. The event was very successful and proved to be a fun and memorable way to support the fight against cancer and a tradition that Franklin plans to continue. Altogether, Franklin's Relay for Life successfully raised over $17,000 for cancer research. Thank you to all the participants. We're very sad to say that effective immediately, Mr. Nowak will be stepping down from his role as the principal of Franklin High School. But we have a chance to introduce his replacement. There is a fifth dimension, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. Welcome to day 136 of the school year. Administration, are you ready? Ready. 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 Be what? I was born ready for this. Uh, scholarship? Nah, she's no good. Check requests? <laughs> We're not paying that, that's too much money. You don't need any evidence anymore. If the kid shows up to class and he has a pair of shoes on, we are going to pass him and he moves to the advanced level. Is there any questions? What? Hey, no talking in here. Ten days for talking to say hello to me. One, two, three. So, what do you think about that Obama plan? Are there any wires on this thing? No uh, wires. I don't believe in wires. Hey, Mr. Noah, can you give me a Phillips screwdriver, please? We'll have to see how this new change will affect the way our school runs next fall. 
Joe, Mr. Nowak isn't leaving, and just because it's in all caps doesn't mean you have to shout. Yes, it does! Can I get a new co-anchor? Whatever. Sadly, our school year is beginning to wind down. However, let's try to remember all the great things that happened along the way. The 2013-14 school year has been quite eventful here at FHS. On the first day of school, we were greeted with a brand new student parking lot that was built over the summer as well as renovations to the stadium concession stand and ticket booth. The Saber Slate was converted from paper to an online newspaper as they launched the new saberslate.org. Wisconsin winter weather hit the peak in January, resulting in four cold days for the district. Though the days were a needed break, in March the start time was changed to 7.10, which made everyone's mornings a little bit harder. FHS students showcased yet again their amazing talent at the 2014 talent show. The grand prize winner was the yo-yoing duo of Noah and Nehemiah. Fashion analysis class held the annual fashion show themed Midnight in Paris. New at FHS this year was the first ever amazing race created by Corey Soich and Hudson Miller. The winners were juniors Gio and Melissa, who won lunchroom cookies for their entire grade. As a fundraiser for the Sabre Stadium Project, FBLA hosted the first ever Mr. FHS pageant. Sophomore Sam walked away with the crown. The main office was moved to the gym balcony, which will make for a long, hot summer for the office staff. The spring musical Legally Bond was a smash hit and was the last time we'll have to rent another school's auditorium. This year, SAD put a twist on Drunk Driving Awareness Week by having the Grim Reaper take students out of class every 53 minutes, representing the lives lost in alcohol-related accidents. Prom brought back the Roaring Twenties and crowned the 2014 Prom Court as well as Prom King and Queen Caden and Melanie. We also had academic king and queens and national mayor finalists Katie, Colin, and Anna, as well as our own crown princess Asta headed to the National Distinguished Young Women competition this summer. For the first time since 2006, the varsity football team made it to the state championship and ended their season as state runner-up. Continuing the tradition of sports excellence, many teams went to state this year. Boys bowling, boys cross country, gymnastics, palms, boys swim and dive, girls tennis, wrestling, and for the first time ever, the cheer team competed at nationals. Mr. Gang created an eco cup, giving students a chance to enjoy and appreciate nature. Best Buddies won several new awards, including the Best Buddy President in state. Robotics won a new award, the Innovation and Control Award. The Visual Arts and Mock Trial teams went to state competition for the first time in the club's history. The chess team not only won their conference, but also won the state championship, which has not happened in many years. And to top it off, two students from FBLA are going to the national competition. We are not only building a new school, we are continuing to build on our strong history of achievements in academics, activities, and sports. Who knows what 2015 will bring? Who knew our school was so successful? Our school really is great. Don't believe me? Take a look at this week's Uproar winners. I nominated Alex because she does a great job for me as a student aide. And she's not the only student aide I have. I also have Matt and OJ, and they do a wonderful job as well. But luck of the draw, Alex, you're the big winner. Congratulations. I appreciate your effort as well as the effort of all my aides. Thank you very much. Hello there. I nominated Melanie Hansen because she is, um, I don't know, for a lot of reasons. One, she runs cross country and everybody that runs cross country is fantastic. She went to Spain with me, used her Spanish really, really well, works hard in class every single day and did an incredible job putting the Relay for Life together with some of her friends. So congratulations, Melanie. Congrats to the winners. Now on a more personal note, many of you know me for my extreme sarcasm here on Sabre Roar. But what I really love to do is to make movies, and I'm excited to announce I've recently finished production on a new short film called Collectibles, starring Ben Brown and Jack Amina. So without further ado, here is the trailer premiere for Collectibles. Please enjoy.
Collectibles will be premiering this summer at Showtime Cinema right here in Franklin. This film is a product of FHS students and alumni, and I would like to personally invite each of you to come and see the movie. Follow me on Twitter or friend me on Facebook for more details. Before we leave you, we have an exciting announcement for AP students. If you are looking to cash in any of your summer reading books for AP or honors classes, contact Mr. Zambaraz or any FBLA members to find out more. Well, guys, it's been a, it's been a great couple years doing the Save Aurora. Uh, this is my last show. Uh, this is Mitch's last show. We just wanted to thank you because uh, it's been fun. It's been a good ride. And we'll miss you all. Yeah. Peace out. Thank you.